So I know it's been almost a week since I've posted a video and there is a reason for that and that is because I'm moving. So if you've been watching my vlogs then you already know all about it because I am vlogging about it. So if you wanna you know, get caught up and see what's happening and watch that process and, and kind of be there with me, um, I do have a vlog channel, Crafty Girl Vlogs. I'll link it at the end of this video and it's also linked down below. Also, I haven't talked about this quite yet, but I no longer have a PO box. Um, I would just rather get like emails from you guys if you wanna send me notes and letters and things like that. I am gonna create an email um, account just for you, but in terms of like sending me letters, emails, um, I'm gonna create a new one for you guys and as soon as I do, I'll let you know what that is. So because I am moving, it's just difficult right now to um, haul. I don't really wanna bring anything in because I'm obviously in the process of moving things out. Um, and on top of that, also not a really good time to do DIYs. The house is just, it's, it's a mess. I mean, it's somewhat of an organized mess, but it's a moving mess. So that's why things are kind of falling off the radar a little bit, but as soon as I move and I'm done with all that, we're gonna ramp back up. I've got some great spring stuff that's gonna be coming and my planner videos are gonna get back on track again. Just unfortunate timing, you know? But I thought this would be a really great time to do this video and share with you guys my favorite Dollar Tree products for moving. It's probably gonna be a top 10, but I think there are a couple more little items in there. And I did use a lot of these techniques moving into this house, techniques that really worked well for me, that I'm very excited about, that I obviously love so much that I'm using them again. Now, I do wanna say before I talk about all of these products and why and, and how I use them, I wanna say that my moves have always been local. You know, I've never really moved outside too much of the DFW area here in Dallas. And this move specifically is probably even the closest that I've ever done because it's in the same neighborhood. So yes, I'm moving in the same neighborhood, just a different house. Again, if you, follow, if you watch my vlogs and you know why, okay? But with that in mind, the, what, what I'm trying to get at is it's a very short drive from this house to the next house. So not everything is going to be packed 100% with care, I suppose, because a lot of the things that are breakable, I'm taking myself. I really don't want to pack them. I'm just going to lay them safely in my car because again, it's like, you know, right down the street. So with those disclaimers out, let me go ahead and share with you what I got at Dollar Tree for moving. So the very first thing, I don't think this is in any, any particular order either, and it's just going to be paper towels. This is just something good to buy right before you're moving. Have it like this, don't really use it, but then use it to do the final touches of cleaning up, you know, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning maybe some spots that you might find. And that way you don't have to have like any towels around. You can just have some paper towels and use that for cleaning. The next things are these little baskets. Now I've had these for a very long time. I've hauled them before and I've actually used them to organize my own bathroom with, but um, I ended up having extras. So these are great as just a little quick way to put last minute things into without having to pack them up. Things that come out of your shower that you obviously need to have, you know, until the very last minute, you know, bathroom necessities. These are great to just kind of pack all of those things in there and then take them with you. Again, if you're moving long distance, it's probably not a great idea, but if you are moving local, this is a really great way to just put last minute things. This can also work for kitchen related items as well, because you can just put all of your cleaning supplies into these little baskets and then you're done. But on that note for cleaning supplies, I actually found these at Dollar Tree. I mean, it's just $1 for one box, so that is kind of pricey because as a matter of fact, I've ordered box, moving boxes from Amazon. Now, I'm not a fan of really paying for boxes, obviously. I just didn't have the time to get on Craigslist, find free boxes and things like that, so I did order them from Amazon and I was really surprised to find that boxes are cheap per box. They're like, it varies on the size, but they can be anywhere from you know, 40 cents to 60 cents a box. So for a dollar for this small box, it's kind of 
costly compared to what's on Amazon, but I will say this is a great little box because it's the kind that has the little covered top where you can just file like your paperwork, things like that, but I'm actually going to use this for my cleaning supplies. I do need to leave those things here till the very last day because I do want to leave everything clean, looking nice, and that way when I'm done with my cleaning products, I can just put them all in this box and I know will all fit and then put it in the front seat of my car and take it with me. The next thing are gonna be some gloves. This is also a really great thing to have, obviously for cleaning purposes. Anything that's cleaning related will be great for moving out, buying those things at Dollar Tree and not having to spend so much money. But gloves are something that's really great to just kind of put them on and then clean your entire house pack all your stuff up, throw away the gloves, and then you're done. Again, another great cleaning item, and I've hauled these quite often from Dollar Tree. You know this if you watch all of my Dollar Tree hauls, but this is the Good & Clean Disinfectant Wipes. I always like to get the yellow bottle because it is the lemon scented. I don't know what the green bottle is, but I prefer the lemon scented. These work great. So obviously I'm gonna use this for cleaning and what I'll also do with these is just kind of disinfect all the handles, the kitchen knobs, the door handles. So this is a great thing to have for cleaning bacteria and things like that, but also great for moving into the new house as well. You know, just kind of get those knobs, get all those things where you know that if somebody has looked at the house before or walked through or whatnot, you know, you can just take some of these wipes and clean all the knobs, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have videos of that as well. I'm going to be doing a house tour. I'm going to be doing like, um, videos on new bathrooms and things like that because this house does have more bathrooms. I'm really excited about all the videos that are going to come from this house, but moving on, let's see what's next. Okay, so this is another one and it's just these nylon cable ties. Um, you get, how many, you get 60 pieces in here. These are great for tying up all of your wires and cords to your gaming systems, to your cable boxes, DVDs, VCRs, VCR. I don't even know where that came from, but that's kind of sad that we don't say VCR anymore. The next thing is going to be this painter's tape from the Dollar Tree, and what I've used this for are two different things for moving. Obviously, you can use it for painting. However, I'm really picky. If I am going to paint, I'm going to buy the best painter's tape because I do want a smooth, clean line. I'm not saying that the Dollar Tree tape doesn't do that. I've never tried it. I've just never risked it, I guess you could say. But what I have used this for is I've taped this on all of my mirrors into an X, and the purpose for this is that it will absorb the shock if you were to happen to drop the mirror. Hopefully it doesn't break, but having that tape there actually will absorb some of the shock. So that helps with um, mirrors. And also I've used this to tape down all of my drawers um, just so that they don't like pop open as well. I also have plastic wrap because this is a really great thing to use to secure anything that you just don't want to have to take out of its container, pack it, and then put it back into its container. Like for example, your silverware, plasticware, things like that. I'm not even gonna move it out of its you know, organizer. I'm gonna keep all of my knives, forks, spoons where they are, and then I'm just gonna take the plastic wrap, wrap it around a couple of times, and voila, I'm done. The next item that I got was this gorgeous red basket. I just look how beautiful this is. So I have been seeing these baskets at the Dollar Tree with the handle, which I haven't seen anything like this at Dollar Tree, I don't think ever. They have smaller baskets with handles I've seen before, but nothing of this size. So this is again, one of those really great products to have as a last minute basket to kind of throw in anything that you've left behind, whether that's in your garage, your kitchen, your bathroom, wherever. So that is the purpose of this basket. It's probably going to be kept in my garage and then anything that I feel like I've left over, I'll probably throw in here. Again, put it in the front seat of my car and then I'm done. And the reason why I have so many of these last minute little baskets is because you always think that you have everything packed. You think that you've covered everything and then somehow, some way, there's still things left behind. How is that? The next thing are going to, going to be lunch bags. Now this has been one of my favorite techniques for this move, but I've never actually used it before, but it's worked out extremely well. I don't know if it's kind of worth the value, but 
I didn't mind. It's a dollar for a, a packet of these and you get 40 paper bags in here. Now you may get more out of the lunch bags from Walmart. So definitely think about that as well if you are gonna use this technique. But what I've used this for is to actually wrap my kitchenware with this. I've taken little cups, little bowls, all of those things, put them into the brown paper bag and use it basically as a replacement for newspaper. That's also one of those things that I just don't have in my possession. I don't really get a newspaper. Sometimes I get like that junk mail, but it's never big enough. Um, or sturdy enough and the brown paper bag is actually thicker than newspaper so this has actually worked really really well again i wouldn't i don't think i would recommend this if you are packing up your kitchen stuff and traveling long distance definitely not a good idea i would definitely go with bubble wrap make sure that when you get to your new house you know things didn't break also something that worked out so beautifully it blows my mind wish I would have known about this which is why I'm so glad I'm gonna I get to share this with you guys but it is foam plates this guy works so well by putting in between your kitchen plates it creates a cushion between the two and the foaminess but because there's that foam it does provide that protective barrier between each plate and it will absorb any shock from the move, the moving of the plate. So, and you get 30 count in here. And as you can see, I still have a lot left. Now, again, I don't really have that much kitchenware because it's just my daughter and I, but as you can see how much I still have left. And now that's also going to come in handy because when I'm done using my dishes and using my pots and pans, which we're at that point, I mean, it's a Saturday, I think in a couple days I move. So basically now we're down to this. I'm no longer going to cook. I'm no longer going to use my dishes. I'm no longer gonna run the dishwasher. So now I have these left over to basically, you know, put any food that we order, pick up, whatnot. The next thing that I have, obviously you don't see it here because I've already used it, but you're obviously seeing little video clips of what I'm doing with these things. But this is a shelf liner. I also use this to um, secure with my uh, kitchen plates. Now I do have some um, plates that have been in my family that was passed down from my grandmother to me. And so this was really beautiful for using um, as a little like liner between each plate. If I had to choose which one I probably liked best, I'm gonna go with the foam. And the reason why is because it was so easy. You just pull it out of the plastic wrap and you put it in between the plate. Whereas with the shelf liner, I actually had to get scissors and cut it and place it. So, but both do work beautifully. However, again, this probably um, is not worth the money because for a dollar roll, I think I only got four or five um, liners between each plate. So, there's that to consider, but it's still a really great method, especially if you want to like wrap. Anything that you are so protective over, you really don't want it to break, these little shelf liners are perfect for that. All right, now the very last thing. I guess I feel like I have saved the best for last. This was a technique that I used moving into this house and it worked beautifully and that's basically duct tape. Now, if you watch my last video um, or one of my videos in DT Week, where I hauled Dollar Tree stuff for an entire week straight, I hauled a ton of, du of duct tape. Now the reason for that is because I've made this little legend, this little key here, and it has all of the duct tape here, and as you can see, even some more on the back, and it tells me which room. So with all of my moving boxes, I basically selected each room and gave it its own duct tape, and then when I'm boxing up for that room, I actually cut the duct tape and put it on the box. That way, when I move into my new house, I can tell the movers, oh, th these boxes go here, these boxes go there, and it serves multiple purposes. For one, just like I said, I don't have to move it because they do get heavy, and that way I get the movers to put them where I need them to go. And the second purpose is, I can't tell you how many times I've moved in the past, never known what was in the box, but I was looking for something specific but it made me like I had to open up almost every box before I found it. And that's really frustrating because sometimes there are just certain boxes that don't need to be opened right away. So with having this little key legend, 
I know, okay, you know what? I need to find something for the kitchen and kitchen has this mark on it. And this just works a lot better than writing on your boxes, especially if you keep your boxes and you reuse them with your moves and then you have to cross things out and then you don't know if it's for that room or not. I just feel like using the duct tape because you don't have to read words on the box. You just know, oh, purple means this, green means this. So that's my favorite, probably my favorite thing from Dollar Tree for moving. Now for the move day, I do keep this out because I will keep this with me. I'll slip it into my purse and then when I move into my new house, I'll put it on my kitchen counter and that way I'll have it visible at all times so that I know, you know, where each box needs to go or if I'm trying to locate something, I have this readily on hand. And that's it for my top 10 plus moving hacks from Dollar Tree. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see, where am, I, where am I at right now? I have been putting up vlogs and I am behind. I just recently put up like February 27th date, but I'm about to get you guys caught up a lot so that you know what's going on. But I'm so excited for this move. I can't wait to share with you guys the house tour. So stay tuned for that. That is going to be on Cheap Crafty Girl and my daughter may or may not make an appearance. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you.